What's up guys, it's today, hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna try and see if we can build a 13 and a half thousand horsepower V16. So, hope you enjoy. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna be doing, we are gonna select our bottom end, which is gonna consist of a bullet steel crank, forged heavy conrads, forged heavy pistons, harmonic dampener, all the nice things, and also our displacement increased to 10.4 liters. And for turbos, we are gonna be using a beautiful 4 turbo setup or quad turbo setup whichever way you like to say it of course we're gonna run it on my favorite fuel of course we're gonna use quality sliders that are on plus 15 tubular race headers no cats no mufflers no none of that first thing is we're gonna start modifying our exhaust here tuning it up way more than we need to move to the head of course we're gonna lower our compression here increase our cam profile and of course we cannot forget about the spring and lifter tension because that's also very important to make a boatload of power and a higher RPM rev limit. So, speaking of which, we'll come back to that in just a moment. We're also gonna go over to the turbo and start increasing our intercooler size as well as increase our compressor size, change the AR ratio just a little bit, so then we're probably gonna up the boost as well. And we'll probably raise it... Mm, 2.8, 2.9, so I believe 2.8 is gonna be where we leave it, that's bar of course. And of course we're gonna go and adjust our rev limiter up to about 92, 9400 RPM, I believe that's where I want to end up. Because that's where the power is, and look at that, 11,681 horsepower without doing too much. <laughs> now the real fun starts, now it's to extract, come on we can go a little more horsepower. Okay, we are very close to that. Okay, this is good. This is really good. And uh, we're also going to adjust our cam profile just a little bit because I see we can extract a little more power there. Then of course we can go back to the turbo side and increase our intercooler size a little bit. Because I've realized that a lot more intercooler than you actually need is better sometimes than what you have too small of an intercooler that creates a lot of heat that means the engine is very very stressed now our fuel table is going to be a little leaner because nitrometh is a very very full combustion so you need a lot of it that's what i've been told and also that's what i've been led to believe so do let me know down below if i'm wrong on that and do consider to educate me then i'd love to read your comments so do let me know as you can see there 13,300 horsepower it's nothing to laugh at, that's a lot of power. I mean, that's more than most of the supercars out there. I think the Devel 16 is the closest. Uh, I, I can't remember the exact horsepower number on that engine, that that particular platform, but yeah, I've, I've, I've read a lot about that platform when it comes to how much power it makes and also how expensive it is, so. Yeah, now our real power is starting to kick in, that's 13,500 horsepower, beautiful! Now can we go a little more, without breaking the engine too badly? As I always believe we can push a little more, but I think that's where we're gonna stop, for reliability's sake, and also I want to put this in the chassis sometimes, so... Uh, just like that, our beautiful engine is painted. So let's go over to the dyno and run this thing. We're gonna do two pools, one looking at the engine, one looking at the graph. So I hope it sounds as good as it looks. Let's find out. This thing almost broke the freaking engines day and thank you so much for watching, this thing is absolutely awesome. Do consider to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you wonderful people in the next video. Thank you guys, bye bye.